escape and plot to regain control of Ergro. On Earth, Rex and Darl make their first move toward capturing Groot's headquarters. The entrance to the cave is behind this cupboard. What's that? A hidden spring. illusions. He couldn't have hoped to destroy us with an illusion. No, but he might have figured on scaring us half to death. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah, I remember. That light hypnotizes you. We'll fake it. Glad to welcome you again to Ergro. Come this way. Stupid of you to pretend hypnosis. Now you're under the control of Dr. Groot's dethermal ray. It freezes the brain only. Calling Dr. Groot on the planet Ergro. Jarva calling Dr. Groot. Jarva. I have two prisoners under the thermal ray. Who are they? The reporter R-12 and the man we know as Darl. Well done, Jarva. You will instruct Darl to contact his employer, Ken Wolfer, by the electronic induction telephone. Wolfer is dangerous to me and must also be brought under control. Yes, sir. Is that all? No. You will then send the three of them to Ergro in a Cosmojet. That is all. Very well, sir. Hideout. What's the matter? Can't you hear me? Tell him you're all right, but you need help. I'm all right, but I need help. Well, how do I get in there? Through the hermit shack on Mount Vulcan. There's an opening in the rear wall, behind the cupboard. Tell him you'll meet him in a tunnel and bring him here. I will meet you in a tunnel and bring you here. 
Okay, I'm on my way. the guards. Take the Earth people to the palace and keep them there. By force if necessary. Very well, sir. It's time I put an end to an impossible situation. I could get along without Professor Dawn. I'd like to get this cannon working again in case we need it. Yeah. You hide. I'll see what they're up to. Where are you taking me? To the Planet Palace. Everyone must go there. The robot men are taking everybody to the palace. Good must have escaped and is giving them orders. Perhaps Rex will come soon with help. Until he does, we must submit and let Groot make the moves. I'll go with Ella. You assemble the small emergency kit of Dornite and stand by here. What's up? I don't know. Planet men don't seem to know either. I shall dictate my terms of submission to the nations of the world. Are you sure this is the right time? Why not? I have everything under full control here, just as Jarva has on Earth. head on into one of Groot's gadgets. Take Mr. Walper over to Mighty Thermal Ray. Nobody's taking Ken Walper anywhere. You'll soon find you're entirely in my power. That's where you're wrong, Shorty. I've heard a lot about you and your fancy gimmicks that'll do everything. But here's one of mine that can stop him. Stop. You bring these two out of their trance or whatever it is. Good thing I did. Let's look over these gadgets. We'd better put him under control first. He's liable to turn it off and send us flying through the air. All right, good idea.
while. Show me some of these gimmicks. What's this? Grood calls it a radar scope. With this, he can see anything fairly close by, even through rocks or walls. Take a look. It's probably set on the cave where you met Darl. This is the gadget with which Grood can read your subconscious mind. He found out all about you from Darl with it. This is a stellar scope. It can reach almost anything in space. Now what's that? It's Grood trying to call here from Urgro. Let him try. We'll call him when we're ready. Say, he ought to be done by now. Dr. Grood calling Jarva on the planet Earth. Come in, Jarva. Why doesn't Jarva answer me? Perhaps he's busy or hurt. He has nothing to do but wait for my call. I'll find out what he's up to. I'll synchronize the fluoro ray with a stelloscope. Jarva and taken control of my Earth headquarters. I must hear what they're plotting. Cut the Cosmonium power booster into the Orion circuit. You two take off for Ergro any time you want. We'll use Doran's atomic plane. Why not a Cosmojet? Because Grood could take remote control of and destroy us. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I can handle that guy. If it gets tough, I'll put him back in the cooker. Let's see if we can find some cosmonium power units. They might come in handy. The fools. Do they think I can't destroy their atomic plane also? Is there a Cosmo jet on the launching platform? Yes, sir. Then put that neutron detonator in it. I'll adjust the remote control firing device. information has Alden received. Will one of Grood's insane inventions finally backfire on him? For the smashing climax, see Sentence to Space, 
the final chapter of The Lost Planet at this theater next week.